Hello, I'm here with Simon from CBRE. We're gathered in Bangkok where the AV industry is showing quite a lot of interesting stuff. But just to be contrarian, why don't we talk about what it's not showing? Because, Simon, what's missing? Yeah, because what's missing is just as important as what's <laughs> here, right? So um, we had a really good session yesterday talking about cybersecurity out on the lounges on the first floor, but I'm not seeing anything here. On the, on the shop floor today, in, in the display areas. We're all talking about it upstairs, everybody's discussing it, but we don't have, seem to have anything on the stands. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting topic because obviously it's extremely important. We've conversed with IT, we're on the network, and you know they want to be sure that anything on their network is safe, 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 safe. Um, what do you think's the problem? I personally think we're not talking the language properly and they're not listening, but what's your thoughts? I think we've been talking to IT a bit too much. Oh, right, really? And because IT are saying, hey, I don't want AV on my network, mm -hmm. <laughs> we've started building these other networks and kind of missed it a little bit. Yeah. We've not really been talking too much about we really need to converge these networks and here's how we do it properly. IT, come on, let's get to the party properly and yeah. let's join hands yeah. and get this really sorted out. And I think as a result of that, we're now retrospectively thinking about security. We're talking about it, yeah. but it's not really creeping down to the stands here where we, yeah. we're showing enough of yeah. it. And, and just to kind of like big up IT a little bit, we had an excellent finalist in the education category, Duke Kunshan University. It was actually helmed by the guy who leads IT for the university, and they did a converge network. So if the message gets across, it can be done. If the application demands a converged network, it can be done. It's just a matter of figuring out the pieces. Moving the conversation along, um, I'm not seeing services, right? I, again, look at IT, and I look at how hardware margins have disappeared, and eventually you've got to add something that is as a service or service-based, get on that subscription model, and start getting your revenue a bit more solid, a bit more stable. Um, we're selling a lot of black boxes. We ain't selling services, at least not here on the show floor. I don't see anyone talking about it. No, and, and you're exactly right. That, that swing that we've gone from CapEx to OpEx, yep. that pendulum has swung. Yep. But we're not seeing it. We're absolutely not seeing it yep. here. Yeah, so we've got those extra value add subscriptions that are coming in. It makes sense to go down a service. It makes sense that you would walk down here, you would see this product and say, it's available for X per room per month. Yeah. And that would actually pull. I think that would pull people to the stands if we had that clarity to say, you buy this, you get this, all these services, and here's how we run it at this cost per month. Yeah. I always feel, and it's something we talk to our clients about quite a lot, they're kind of shocked. Like, we, we weren't expecting OPEX in mm -hmm. this fit-out mm -hmm. cost. Like, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. Again, clarity here, I think, will help the industry yeah. a lot more yeah. to get more sales and yeah. more things in the door. hundred percent. I think it makes so much sense because of the flexibility that end users require when it comes to real estate, right? Like that's no longer a given. Why do you want to get a building and then spend money to fit it out and then not know if you're going to use it all or if you want to scale up or if you want to scale down? I think it all fits together, but like you kind of hinted at, everyone's got to go towards that standard hardware base so that we can build these services on top. It's hard to leave the sweet, sweet proprietary hardware life. It is, it is. And we're all talking about flexible spaces, but yeah. where's the flexible pricing that <laughs> needs to back that up, right? Mm. Um, and obviously, it would be remiss to not talk about AI. We've got to talk AI. about AI. Of we course, have to. We have to. to we have to. AI. It's essential. Everyone, everyone, everyone has to talk about it. We're like mandated to talk about it. But um, it's kind of missing. Yeah, yeah. So I was really expecting to come down in front of all of this signage, all of these displays we've got to see like AI generated content, yeah, yeah. mid journey, Dali prompts, everything coming yeah. out here and all the stuff that we've seen with like Sora and image generation and video generation recently. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd be seeing it here. Nah. Uh, interesting, right? Like I think everyone's got on board to help it help uh, to get AI, to help them write like an AI pitch or get their email done, or you know, you've got a speech coming up, you need to write an essay. They're all on board, but the visuals, I think, is where the real impact is gonna be made. I think of it as the capability to create your own, own content at no price. Yeah. At no price, like, you don't need to go out there and engage other artists, not to be you know, problematic, but I believe that if you're a small scale and you don't need intense, content, you can use generative AI and get it done. And then obviously artists and generated content by humans still has a place and will sit beside it. But we're not seeing that 
Gen AI content bump up? AI generation as a service. Ah. I, I would I would have a stand here right now doing that and be pumping <laughs> it to every display. Yeah. But it's not here. And it's it's like you say, it's such a game changer to say yeah. we can generate this straight away, we can get to the market quicker, we can push content out a lot more easier, and we've got the systems to do it. But yep. I'm I am once I'm surprised as well yep. we're not seeing that this time. Yep. And, and I mean it's not all doom and gloom. That generated content needs to be processed, it needs to be put up on a display. Right, there is still hardware that's going to be in there, and yep. hopefully, fingers crossed, the you know, if you're saving money on generating content, maybe you can chuck a little bit towards a nicer display. You know, get exactly. a few more NVIDIA GPA, GPUs in there. We all need more NVIDIA yeah, GPUs. Yeah, everyone needs more NVIDIA yeah. GPUs. <laughs> Simon, lovely talking to you as always. Thanks very much, H, and hopefully, we see this stuff next year. <laughs>